Hi, my name's Dave, and today I am reviewing the XK8800 glider. If you're thinking of buying this glider, this plane, or already just recently got it, you might want to have a look at this video. I had this now about 10 days, I enjoy flying it a lot, but there's a couple of important tips I've uh, picked up in the last few days that I want to share with you. Okay, so the first thing is, you get an idea of the size. It's an 800 millimeter wingspan. There's the larger glider, which is the 1200, and then there's the smaller 700 and 600. I like the size of this because it's easy to chuck in the car. So we're gonna do a bit of flying today, and then I'm gonna point out a couple of other details. So here's a couple of other details. Okay, so a couple of things about this plane. It's very light, as in very, very light. And even though it has a stabilization function built in, if it's breezy, it's very inclined to get tossed around the place. So one thing I did to help was I just inserted a coin in there to help give it a little bit more ballast. Uh, it just sits very comfortably underneath uh, the battery. Another thing to bear in mind is this thing I've only learned about recently, and it's the importance of finding the center of gravity of the plane. Uh, and that seems to be roughly where the plane is balanced. Usually they recommend about a third of the distance along the wing on either side. If it's supported with the battery in, then it's pretty balanced. It seems uh, if your plane is out of balance, it's gonna be harder for it to fly smoothly. Some people say that a nose heavy plane is difficult to fly, whereas a tail heavy plane will only fly once. So it is important to try to balance it out. The next thing that I've learned, uh, it might be a quirk of this particular plane, is the gyroscopic function. You can fly this plane with the, with the gyro enabled and it makes your flying very stable, but it needs to be set up properly first. Okay, so the correct procedure is to turn on your radio first, connect your battery, Have a look into the cockpit, make sure the red light is flashing in it and you don't try to fly until it has gone to a solid red light. Okay, to engage the gyros, just up the accelerator a small bit. Now you, can, now you can see the control surfaces moving. Now the gyroscope is initialized and it's ready to fly. Another tip that you might want to consider is these planes crash, of course they crash. Um, I've crashed plenty, uh, but what I've learned is even though the wings are nice and robust, it's worth using a little bit of tape to pack along the edge. Just regular packing tape along your edges there and there at the back, even underneath here, just helps. So that when it gets a knock from a tree, it's less inclined to cut into the foam. Um, that's just another tip to remember. Fun factor, how would I rate this? Oh, I love this glider. This is a lot of fun. I'd give this an 8 out of 10. Value for money, 9 out of 10. Uh, ease of flying, it's right up there. It's, it's possibly the easiest plane I've ever flown. You do have four channels, meaning you control your speed, you control your pitch with your elevator, up and down. You also control steering with your rudder and your ailerons but in truth i'd firmly recommend if you're just flying this low to the ground just use your rudder for steering it will keep the plane level when turning whereas if you use your ailerons the plane will be kind of dip 
and if you're low to the ground you can lose a bit of lift and the plane can be kind of dive so just bear that in mind if you're flying low use your rudder if you're flying high use your ailerons you can roll this plane no problem she'll do loops no problem just make sure you got enough height so that when she completes the loop you still got enough height clearing the ground okay so if you're fairly new to remote control flying if you're looking for your first plane or looking for a glider is this worthwhile for fifty dollars roughly around fifty dollars i think absolutely it's a lot of fun unlike the bigger planes that are fun flying high in the sky and performing various maneuvers i enjoyed this the most when it was low to the ground nice gentle easy flying very very uh, quiet and easy to maneuver the stabilization function is terrific once you make sure that it is working before you set, start to fly and um, the other thing to watch out for this is possibly a prototype but the radio range seems to be quite short so when you get yours first thing i recommend you doing is with the help of somebody else walk as far away as possible and check to make sure you're you've got a clear radio signal once you start to lose the signal that's the length within which you should be operating don't take a chance and go any further because it will fly off so for 50 dollars is a good value for money absolutely i think it's a lot of fun uh, i also like its bigger brother the xka 1200 but it's larger and it's bulkier it's more awkward to carry around with you this is very easy you can chuck it in the boot of your car pull it out and fly any place just remember a little bit of extra weight to keep it stable make sure you check that the plane is stabilized the stabilization function is working before you launch uh, and perhaps buy a couple extra batteries if you're looking to get the best deal click on the link below uh, that keeps up to date with the the best prices going and happy flying i hope you enjoy your time flying the a800